Paul, thanks for joining us. Given the nature of toll, you gain a, a unique insight into what's going on within economies. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're seeing in Australia and the region at the moment? Yeah, I think there are two stories here, and maybe even three. I think Australia is a story of two economies uh, virtually. Um, our exposure to the resource sector and the amount of work we're generating from that is very strong in Queensland, Northern Territory and uh, WA. Um, I think, however, in the areas that are probably, from our point of view, reliant on uh, consumer demand, which are probably um, Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne and to some extent South Australia, uh, we're seeing a softness there that uh, won't go away. Um, and to some extent, I think whilst uh, the volumes might be better since inventory levels were rearranged, um, we're, we're still seeing that as fairly flat. So Australia on balance, two stories. I think outside of Australia, we're seeing uh, very strong growth in, uh, in China, India, Singapore, which is an important market for us. So I think some of the key markets for us in, in Asia are showing a lot of strength. And more recently, of course, uh, the US now, with our acquisition of Summit there some six months ago, the US is also showing, um, probably coming off a lower base, but showing more, more traction. In China, some of the, the macro uh, metrics seem to be quite volatile. Do you see that in your business? Um, well, yes and no. I mean, um, China, of course, uh, is a very immature logistics market uh, for our industry. And just because you've got 1.2 billion people living there doesn't mean it's a mature market. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Very, very low levels of outsourcing. And so to a large extent, China for us is um, um, being involved with the momentum that's being set up by the, the major retailers to uh, standardise what they do globally now. And so for a long time, things were done differently in China, again, from a logistics point of view. But now things are very much being brought into sort of a more level playing field, driven to a large extent by the major retailers. Yeah, you're very much focused on setting up a global logistics firm right now. I mean, are you, um, are you finding that this is a good time to do that or a bad time? Are you finding there's more businesses on the market or that uh, the, the, the actual volume of business is quite uh, challenging? Uh, well, look, it, you know, it depends whether how you look at it. Um, I, I'm of the view that whether prices are perceived to be cheap or fair probably doesn't make, or even high for that matter, probably doesn't make a lot of difference to our longer term strategy. Our longer term strategy needs to be rolled out almost regardless of whether businesses are selling on a six, seven or eight or nine times uh, multiple. So I think from that point of view, um, we can certainly take advantage of lower values and that's, that's certainly the case. However, we've been, uh, I guess we couldn't have picked a more testing time to be starting and growing a brand new business. Uh, a global forwarding business based in Hong Kong actually started life within toll probably six months before the GFC and uh, we've had to contest with that. But that's, that's more a, um, a demand on us to be explaining the building phase that we're going through. So I think to some extent uh, there's no good or bad time, it's more having total belief in the strategy.